All right, before we start this review, I haven't talked to you guys about theater etiquette. I had a person next to the theater during this very quiet movie who was snoring. Thanks a lot. Just saying. If you're watching this, yeah, thanks a lot. Stop falling asleep in theaters. But besides the point, shout outs also. <clears throat> shout out to my friend Grace, who I saw at theater, Devin. And Movie Theater Girl, a.k.a. Caitlin, thanks for helping me out again. And I still didn't get the Infinity War t-shirt. And there's no really good pun put at this beginning of this review. So yeah, shout out to Theater Etiquette. Greetings from Monktubers. Today we will be reviewing the movie Quiet Place. It's about a family trying to run and hide from these creatures. They can't say anything. They can't make a noise or these aliens will come after them and kill them, slaughter them, and murder them. And very much, I got a very cool vibe from this, and you may know what it is. If you don't, put it, if you do, put it in the comments down below. Stop lingering off the screen, please. But anyway, I got a very uh, cool vibe from this movie, but... This movie is really different from other horror movies. The first, let's talk about the acting. The acting, Emily Blunt's acting is. This movie also stars Emily Blunt and I don't know the other character's name because they never share a name. But I understand why we don't know that much about them. They don't have time to speak. How do you learn about a family when they? Have time to speak. Subtitles are also amazing. Their acting is really amazing. You have focus. There are a lot of subtitles in this movie, like Planet of the Apes movies. There's a lot of subtitles which make them really quiet. And this movie's unique and unlike any other horror movies out there. But it's different than. The typical giant robot fighting movies of epicness and different from your movie blockbusters. Some people may not even like this movie because how quiet it is. I was talking to a friend of mine, Devin. He felt the main villain of this movie was a witch. Sorry to disappoint you, buddy. Because this movie is different from a witch horror movie. This movie is really different. The cool, unique aspect of this m aliens in these movies is the design. I have a theory about them. I'll, I'll tell them after I give it my grade. There will retain some spoilers for that, but if you you'll, can jump out. But anyway, they're like bats. It's like unique cool and different and it just looks cool when they're on screen they're awesome on screen the performances the alien design everything about this movie even the horror aspect for a PG-13 movie really yes you watch this movie truth or dare that's coming out soon be so bad I'm going to die no yeah this truth or dare is going to die a bad death because it, I think it's coming out the same day as one of the highest anticipated movies of all time. <coughs> Marvel's Fame War. <clears throat> but anyway, this movie is really uniquely different. It has a lot of thrill to it. I was on the edge of my seat. The first scare literally made me go to the bathroom. No, or not that I had to go to the bathroom. Mamie had to go to the bathroom really bad, but I'm like, can't hold it. I was holding 
Me going back through all this movie, that's how much it kept me on the edge of my seat. I barely ate any popcorn because no one made a sound except that person snoring, person snoring right next to me. But that's how quiet it was. This movie, you have to think open-mindedly. Also, it starts on the 89th day. It doesn't just jump right into it and tell you, oh, this happened, that happened, no, this happened, no. This movie, you have to figure out, use your imagination what these things were. Again, theory at the end. And it was uniquely really cool to see that happen. And... This movie ends abruptly. It's not a spoiler that ends ab abruptly, but ends abruptly. You'll see why if you see it. But overall, this movie is spectacular. It's unlike any horror movie I ever saw. It, I get a vibe of War of the Worlds, Signs, and Aliens. Because it just puts me in that... Surrounding area when it jumps when it you just jump right in the quiet place and it's just really quiet and pretty cool fact the main little girl in this movie is really deaf in real life and that is really cool that they made that happen but overall guys this movie is really good really good I have nothing complain about it so overall I'm going to give quiet place. An A plus. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Now the theory part about what I think this is. If you guys don't want to be spoiled, leave now. Just leave now. So basically, a lot of people are saying this is a sequel, supposed to sequel, Ten Cloverfield Lane or Cloverfield. No, I think this is a sequel to Super Eight. Hear me out. The reason why I think it's a sequel to Super 8 is because of the aliens' text, what they do. They sound like, they have that clicking noise like the alien Super 8, and their mouths open up and, like, their heads open up and make that clicking noise too. Thus, it could be the babies of Super 8 or some kind of different species or race on his planet or whatever. That's just my theory of the creatures, not Cloverfield Super 8. Put in the comment section if you agree. But guys, that's all for this time. Thank you, my friends who said hi to me in the movie theater. Thank you. And yeah, that's all for this time. Punch that like button face like boss. See you guys in the next show. Bye-bye!